No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Limelight, makers of professional lighting for independent filmmakers. My Road Reel International Film Contest. Enter at myroadreel.com. Hey, so we're here with Brian from uh, Benro. We're going to talk about some, some tripods. Uh, Brian, what's up? How's it going, man? Um, we have the new S8. We're now shipping. We have three flavors of it. The S8 is a flat base head, so you can get it by itself, or an aluminum kit, or carbon fiber. It'll hold 17.6 pounds, all operator side controls, two 3.8 accessory mounts. So instead of adding a cage or rails, if you're just getting started, you can just add like two monitor arms holding like an audio recorder and a monitor. Plus, it's easy to take the camera off and go straight to a slider shot. Is it a quick release? Quick release. They're actually 501, 504 compatible. You have your continuous pan drag, continuous tilt drag, and on the other side, you have a four-step counterbalance, all the way up for 17.6 pounds. What is the like? What is the one or the zero of of that counterbalance? Like, what kind of weight camera are we talking there? You're talking anything from a DSLR all the way up to like C100, C300. Uh, we've even put Red Epics on here, no problem. Now they are a flat base design, just like the rest of the S series from Benro. So you can actually just unscrew this head and then go straight to a slider, go straight to a jib or a hi-hat. And if you want this to be locked down at all times, we actually have three set screws underneath. Includes an Allen key, lock it down, and you're set to go. What size, what size ball is this? This is a 75 millimeter bowl system right here. And we borrow a lot from the photo tripod design. So you actually have your three independent leg positions. Each leg can be set independently of the other two. So if you're doing like stairs or any kind of rocky terrain, you don't have to look for a flat surface. You can mount this anywhere. And you will get spiked feet and a carrying case along with it. Do you, do you buy the head and the leg separately? Uh, is it a bundle? You can buy the head separately if you just need that flat base head. But we do have the aluminum kit. So the aluminum kit is, right now it's on promo, so it's $395. Carbon fiber kit is $500. The head by itself right now is $199. Yeah, really great way to get started if you don't have a tripod or if you need to upgrade or maybe you just need something for a second camera. This is a great way to go. Great. Well, uh, we got some, some, some smaller things as well, right? We do. We got a couple things we're working on. This is the Aero tripod. It's a reverse folding video tripod. So a lot of guys have come to us and said, look, I need something I can bring on the plane. I don't want to check my tripod. I'm doing documentary work. And I need something I can put in a rolling case. So actually, this will fit in a roadie. We have a larger size that detach the head. You can put it in any rolling case. This way, you can just put it in the overhead. So let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, let's see it do its. Yeah, there you so go. So these reverse folding legs here, it's real easy to deploy. You have your flip flops. You can actually adjust the height of the center column. And now the way this works is we actually have a fixed half leveling ball in the center column. So you don't have to worry about leveling this with the legs. You can level it right here. And the leg with the foam grip, you can detach this, detach the center column, you put them together, and you actually have a full size monopod. That's nice. I hear uh, our shooter right now is missing one of those. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. He owes me some money, so that's why I had to do it. All right, a little behind the scenes stuff there. Um, so what does this uh, Traveler tripod run? We don't have exact pricing yet, but we're looking at the $200, $250 range. Probably looking 60 days out for that. 60 days is when it'll be available? Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Thanks.